What's up everybody? This is Napalm Jed from DieselCrew.com. I hope your training is going well. This is day number nine in the 31 days of Q&A here in December at the YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe so that you see the rest of this series. Make sure you give it a thumbs up today. And if you have any other questions that you'd like me to consider for the rest of the month, then leave them in the comment section below. Today's question comes from Randy Gentry. And he posted this in regards to my 200 pound anvil lift that I got recently within the last month or so. And he wants to know how often does a feat go from failure to failure to failure to right to lockout all in the matter of a, a day or a week or even one session. And the fact of the matter is that can happen quite a bit. Um, I will go back to the very first blog post that I ever did on dieselcrew.com about misses are just warm-ups. And I talk about all the many different variables that could be in play that could cause you to go from missing to missing to missing to missing to all of a sudden a major success on a certain lift. That was, I believe, when I was training to lift the Fat Man clone. I'll go back to 2012 when I first lifted Blobzilla. For months of hard training on, on Blobzilla, I was not able to do anything with it. I actually went away from it. Okay, Went to Mighty Mitts and competed. So I took a week off or so for Mighty Mitts. Came back, first workout back after Mighty Mitts. I broke that thing off the ground for the first time ever. And I was like, oh my gosh, how is this possible? I was totally not expecting it. I just set the camera up just in case it came off the ground a little bit. And I actually got it like an inch or a, inch and a half. The video's here on my YouTube channel. From there, I just got my head right. I started hitting that thing hard and I was able to lift that thing up for the first time ever and flipped the hell out. It was awesome. I'll never forget that feat. And the same kind of thing happened with the uh, 200 pound anvil. You know, the first time that we really tried it, I was able to break that thing off the ground about four inches. And um, then it didn't really do anything for a while. And just, I would just randomly go and try to pick it up. And on the, the one certain day, I was able to lift it all the way up. Luke lifted it multiple times that day. I think it was something like 10 times he lifted it all the way to lockout or very, very close to lockout. So yeah, that kind of stuff happens all the time. And it's not just with lifting up like a block weight or an odd object. It can even be something that's much more predictable, like plate pinching or a pinch block or even like the rolling handles and things like that, the different attachments that are behind me. Like you can, you can go from like barely being able to crack something off the ground, even with like, you know, like a vertical grip device. It might break off the ground a dozen times and then all of a sudden you'd lock it in there just right maybe it was a little bit longer break maybe you chalked a little bit better or trade change the kind of chalk um, maybe you blew on your hands cleaned your hands and started over all those variables can lead to big prs and then all of a sudden you grab it you lock in there and you pull that thing all the way to lock out and you let out a war roar like and it feels just so freaking amazing dude so yeah, that kind of stuff happens all the time. What do you need to do in order to make that stuff happen? You can't just make it happen. You got to train consistently. Know the right way to train. There's a right way to train block weights. There's a right way to train plate pinching. There's a right way to train grippers. Um, so you just, you got to know and trust in those methods and they will pay off. And a lot of times it happens out of nowhere. So I hope that has answered your question, Randy. Thanks for posting it. If anybody else has anything else they'd like me to cover this month, feel free to put it in the comments section below. Um, like I said, if you like the video, give it one of these. Big thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe. And the biggest thing that you can do to help me out, guys, people all the time post, you should have more viewers. You should have more viewers. If you think that, the biggest thing that you can do is tell other people about my channel. Send this video or other videos that you like on my channel to your friends, your lifting partners, people that you know that go to the gym, or people that share the same interests that you do in lifting. Get these videos in front of other people and you'll help me grow the channel. Thanks a lot, everybody. All the best in your training.
Take care.